Hello friends and welcome back. In the previous video, we have discussed about classification of soil. Due to varieties of factors which are affecting formation of soil, found in India, like uh, different types of landforms, climatic conditions, different varieties of parent rock, as well as vegetation. Right. So those are various factors as we know available in India in different places, different factors. So due to this different types of soils found in India. So let's see the classification of soil as we have seen earlier. Let's recall what we have seen before. Yesterday we have seen about alluvial soil, the most important and widespread in India. Mainly here we remember about northern plains, eastern coast, as well as it extends up to Rajasthan and Gujarat. Important because of its fertility. More we also further categories Khadar and Bangar. New and old. Okay. Now today we are going to discuss about in this video about the black soil. Black soil. Let's see some of the important features of black soil and information. The very basic thing about black soil, it is black in color. It is obvious. So you can count it as a feature. It is black in color. So black soil, black in color. It is also known as river soil. It is also known as river soil. Another name of black soil is river soil. And one more feature about Black soil is it is also known as cotton black soil. Why? Because it is important for growing cotton. Most suitable, we can say, either for growing cotton. So also known as cotton black soil. More about this. As we have seen earlier, that the various climatic factors as well as uh, chemical process, physical process, right? Those are various factors that formation of soil. In black soil, mainly two factors affecting the most first pattern crop as well as climatic condition of particular area. This type of soil spread over Deccan Prairie, that means Northwest Deccan Prairie and some of the regions like uh, Maharashtra, Saurashtra, Malwa, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and extend in southeast direction along with Godavari and Kaveri valleys. This type of soil found in this region. Uh, in upcoming video, we will see about where different types of soils are found in India. Areas actually. Uh, we'll take half of them and try to understand different regions and different soil. This soil made up from lava flows. So of course uh, it is fertile. The black soils are made of extremely fine clay material. They are well known for their capacity of holding moisture. One more important feature of black soil is it has good capacity to holding moisture, not easily dry up. In addition, this soil has various minerals such as calcium carbonate, magnesium, potash and lime. But at the same time, it has less phosphoric material. They develop deep cracks during hot weather conditions like in summer. We observe that in our area as well that the deep cracks we observe in the soil. So that is a black type of soil. One year, these soils are sticky when wet and different to work on it, uh, like uh, during pre monsoon or first regular monsoon, difficult to work on this type of soil. So, mostly farmers prepare their farms in our region, in our area, before the monsoon rain arrives. Right? Because once uh, pre monsoon rain falls or first rain of monsoon, it's very difficult to work on it. Uh, plowing and uh, preparing farm is difficult for us. So in our area black type of soil is found. So that is why the reason Baruch uh, area that is well known for growing cotton because we have here cotton black soil black soil. 
Now next year, red and yellow soil. Same here on the basis of color. Here, name on the basis of color. It uh, looks like red because uh, here infusion of iron in this type of soil. And why yellow? Because when it hydrate, it looks yellow. Red soil yellow on crystalline igneous rock in the area of low rainfall in the eastern and southern part of Deccan Plateau. Here, eastern and southern part of Deccan Plateau where rain, less rainfall is found, and this form from the igneous rocks. Igneous rocks. Yellow and red soils are also found in part of Odisha, Chhattisgarh, southern part of Middle Gangetic Plain, along with the Piedmont zone of Western Ghats. You have seen about Piedmont before. These soils develop reddish color due to diffusion of iron. Now, next year, laterite soil. Next, laterite soil. Laterite has been derived from Latin word late, uh, late, not later, what you call it, Latin letter that is Greek because it's, uh, it uh, looks like uh, Greek. The laterite soil develops in areas with high temperature and heavy rainfall. Here, high temperature and heavy rainfall, like southern part of India, like uh, Karnataka, Kerala, for example, where we find high temperature and high rainfall. This is the result of intense lynching of heavy rainfall. Humus content in laterite soil is less. Reason? Because most of organism cannot survive due to higher temperature. So they destroy the higher temperature destroys them. What laterite soil are suitable for cultivation with adequate dose of manures and fertilizers? Uh, less organism that means uh, lack of humus. Lack of humus that means less fertility. Yet this soil is important. This soil can be utilized for growing various crops such as tea, coffee, and many other. But we need to do all we need to do is we have to use fertilizers and manures to get best out of it. One year, this soils are mainly found in Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, and Dili area of Odisha and Assam. As I said, they are important for tea and coffee. After adopting appropriate soil conservation technique, particularly in the Dili area of Karnataka, uh, where the government and people try to improve quality of this weatherized soil, and now they utilize this type of soil for growing different types of commercial crops such as tea, coffee, cashew nuts. So here this soil is important for such kind of crops. Lead laterite soil in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala are suitable for crops like cashew nuts. So that's why like black pepper, cashew nut, tea, coffee, such kind of crops people grow in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala because the direct soil is suitable for them. Now next one that is right soil and forest soil. About fifth right soil and sixth forest soil. We will discuss in next video. Next type of soil is aride soils. Aride means dry. And aride soil found in the area where higher temperature and low rainfall. Mainly like uh, some part of uh, Gujarat and Rajasthan. Color about the soil. Edible soil ranges from red to brown in color. They are generally sandy in texture and saline in nature. In some of the areas, this soil contains that high amount of soil. So common soil can be obtained by evaporating water from the soil. More as uh, I said, this soil found in the reason dry reason, dry. So due to dry climatic condition, water evaporates easily. So less vegetations are found due to less rainfall and water evaporates easily. 
so due to dry climate and high temperature evaporation is faster and the soil lacks of humus and moisture due to this dry soil lacks of humus and moisture the lower horizon of soil by by kanker kanker is the stone particles and due to mainly due to the deposit of uh, calcium content in downwards this soil can be used if we do that uh, proper treatment we can example of western part of rajasthan uh, with a proper irrigation uh, method and with a fertilizer this uh, type of soil can be used for cultivation so in some part of gujarat and rajasthan this right soil is utilized for growing crops yes compared to this type of soil it is very less fertile still for coarse grain this type of soil can be utilized but uh, the proper irrigation facility next type of soil is forest soil uh, name itself tells uh, us so this type of soil found in the mountains is mainly in the forest area where rain forests are available so this soil texture varies it uh, depends upon the areas mountains environment type of uh, rocks as well as uh, environment climatic condition where they are formed they are loamy and silty in the valley areas and in upper course this type of soil is coarse means that it is rocky material it is simple because uh, where is material sediments carried by rivers from upper areas of the mountains and they deposit in the valleys so in valley this area forest soil is the fertile compared to the upper area and even in a higher regions of the mountains like in the himalayan regions this forest soil experience is the denudation denudation is the wetting of soil uh, erosion of soil due to that uh, glaciers as well as uh, snowfall and it uh, experiences that uh, acid due to this uh, glaciers and higher temperature uh, sorry lower temperature this soil experiences denudation and are acidic uh, due to lack of humus because at higher altitude uh, organisms cannot survive as well as uh, difficult very difficult for vegetation so almost zero vegetation at certain altitudes the soils found in the lower parts of valleys particularly on the river terraces and anywhere are fertile so in the river terraces in the valleys this type of soil is so here we have seen classification of soils found in india uh, in next video we will try to understand where these types of soils are found in india reason the help of map because it is important for us uh, as well as important for examiners uh, especially for map work so like anywhere so for an example anywhere so in which area is it found so anywhere so we can uh, Sir, that uh, most important northern plains, then after western parts of uh, India, and it extends up to uh, narrow corridor to Rajasthan. Then those are the answer. Now we need to find that in the map. Similarly, black soil, black soil, uh, black and black, right? As well as uh, some part of Saurashtra, Malwa, Madhya Pradesh, right? Maharashtra, red and yellow, uh, Karnataka, some part of Karnataka. Odisha uh, as well as uh, Chhattisgarh, right? Uh, left right soil, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Assam. Right soil uh, mainly Gujarat, uh, Rajasthan, uh, western part of Gujarat and Rajasthan, as well as uh, some part of Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Forest soil mainly Malayan region we can count, as well as western part. So about uh, the area we will uh, discuss in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.